as you can see, we make use of a lot of skulls here at Oscar Shear State Park. Perhaps, if you'd like, I can teach you how to make one. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the workbench. Today I will be showing you how to make a milk jug skull. Here are some of the things that you're going to need. A milk jug, a sponge, gloves, wear gloves, you need to wear gloves, scissors, a steak knife, a box cutter, a screwdriver, regular flathead screwdriver, and a Sharpie. Of course, a heat gun. I've constructed this off of a Lazy Susan, which makes it easier for me to work with. I've picked up a skull, and uh, after about 50 skulls, it starts deteriorating. So what we've done is we've poured cement inside of it. Okay, this is your bucket with water in it, and these are water bottles that have been frozen. These are placed in the water because what you're gonna do is we're gonna melt the plastic from the jug onto the skull and we're going to use the cold water on a sponge to set what we've just done. So let's start off with a Sharpie, our milk jug, and here we go. We're going to trace around here, down the handle, across, and back up. Can you all see that very nicely? Okay, so then you have to decide on which device you're going to use. I like to keep them all just in case because you're going to wind up trimming some of this away. But the first thing is we want to get rid of this. So we want to cut away on that line we just made. Steak knife is working real nicely. Okay, so you can see the cutaway that we've done. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right up here and make a slit just like that okay then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place him on the skull just like that please wear gloves this gets very hot, very hot. And uh, as they say back in the old country, do as I say and not as I do. I'm gonna take and place a sponge in our, in our cold water. And we're going to begin. We start at the top. And we're going to try to make him a nice little hat. The bottom part of this jug is reinforced. 
so it takes a lot more time You see now it's starting to, the plastic is warm enough now that I can start molding. But we want to get a good hat on him first. Doing that by moving around. And be patient. I'll show you something now. And that is if I hold the heat gun in one place for too long, you see where it's starting to become transparent? You don't want to do that because you see it creates holes. Okay, once I've gotten a nice little hat on him, I'm going to come back and get rid of these stickers. If the sticker doesn't come off easily, like it's doing now, Just warm that, that sticker up a bit. And it should peel right off. Just that, that easily. Just like that. Always remember to wear your gloves. An ounce of prevention. This, this melted plastic will hurt and it will constantly hurt for hours on end. Wear your gloves. See how nice it is on the Lazy Susan? You could probably pick one of these up at a yard sale somewhere. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to come over and I want to look at this and you can see where the chin of the skull is right here. And now I've got all this extra plastic down here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to trim that away. After I trim that away, I'm going to go and anchor right in here in the jawline. Okay, so I can see that my jaw is right here. And I've got all this, all this extra plastic down here. But I do want 
some under that jaw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mark there. Okay, good. Now I want to have it so it, it folds right underneath there nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little slit right in the, right, right, right there. And then another one there and another one there. And this will help it, this will help it bend over and, and take shape to the, to the mold. Okay. You're almost sculpturing. But you're basically just... You can almost see the way you can see that very clearly. That is when it's at its best for molding. And I'm gonna put another little slit up here for the same, same way we did in the front.
really get in there. Same spot two or three times. I think we've hit this spot a couple times already. Screwdriver. Here's another little trick with the screwdriver. We wanted to get another fold in, so we're gonna do it a little clip and we're gonna take away a little bit, just trim it up a little bit. See here, it's almost transparent. 
careful. We don't want to lose a cameraman. But we want you to get good shots. See. And trim a little bit more of the excess off. Don't worry about this slit that we made here because we're going to put duct tape over the top of it and um, if you really want to be neat, if you really want this to be a close-up, you can go and uh, run some duct tape on inside and then on the outside dribble some uh, hot glue. Well, I think we're pretty much got you the basics and if you'd like to join us another time of course the more you work on it the more detail you're going to get but that was once a milk jug and join us one more time for milk jugs part two thank you for coming and happy Halloween